games in the W this season. They have not been able to get that championship. It has been elusive. What do you need to see from them in order to tell you that this could be the year that's their year? You know, I've been hard. Liberty fans will, will be the first to tell you. I've been hard on the Liberty all season long. But right. now I can't officially say what I need to see is what we have seen all season when it comes to the Liberty, and that is being connected on the defensive end and the offensive end. The offense is what we've always seen. We've seen the way they find each other. We've seen their assists. We've seen the way the ball moves and the ball pops and how many players can knock down threes. But the defensive connectivity that we've seen from the Liberty, that's going to be the key going throughout the play. Okay, you say you've been hard. I would say that's tough love because we have great expectations for the New York Liberty. They're one of three franchises to have yet to win a championship. Sure. I feel like this is their year. This is a yeah. shot. They have the team. They have the, con the consistency. Now, if we think about last year when they're in the WNBA Finals and over over the course of the season, we said it was last year was the year of the super teams, biggest right. aces. Mm -hmm. Now this now this year it's the year of the super rookies, right? That stole a lot of the energy, but the mission remains the same. The difference between this Liberty last this Liberty team last year was that they sort of started off, you know, like you know, at the gate so so, and then they built and they built and they built. This year they've just sort of been even. Yeah. They've been even. They haven't oscillated so much. So I like how they've shown growth because they didn't change too much of their roster. Sure. They just had individual improvements that have amounted in the best record in the WNBA. They've been incredibly consistent. They, of course, uh, fifth in the WNBA in points per game, averaged over 20 points and eight rebounds a game, and joins only 2014 Maya Moore as the players in franchise history to average at least 20 points, eight rebounds in a season. And honestly, if not for the season that 